What's up everybody? It is Jordan Rossman and today you are watching my first ever vlog slash tutorial. Now, people in my town know me as the guy that does a lot of real estate and community videos. You may recognize some of them. Now, while all of that is still fun and that's still what I do, I wanted to take a little bit of a different direction. I wanted to shoot more video. Now, this little video series slash vlog series, I'm not sure what it's going to evolve into, but it's really for me to fulfill two purposes. Number one is to give you guys a little bit of a behind the scenes look at what it takes to be a video marketer and a video marketer specifically in real estate. And also, it's a little bit selfishly for me to sort of try and build my creative muscles and to always be thinking about what that next video is going to look like and get better at shooting video myself. So this is a little bit of a journey that's going to be between you and me. But today in our first episode, I'm going to be talking to you about the three things that I always do to make sure that every real estate video that we do for our clients is amazing and that it pops and that it's a little bit different from stuff that you would normally see. So very conveniently, we're going out to shoot a new listing today. And uh, I'm gonna take you guys with me to show you a little bit about what that looks like. So I hope you enjoy. And then at the end, I might put the finished product uh, so you guys can see behind the scenes and what that turns into after the editing and production is done. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you do like this video, please let me know in the comments below. Also make sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this one. Number one, hire a professional. Listen guys, I do my videos here and you know, we have fun with them, but when it comes to doing stuff for my clients, I hire a professional. I use wileyford.com. This is Tom right here. Say hi, Tom. Hey guys. Tom's from wileyford.com. They shoot all of our real estate videos. And the first thing that, the first mistake that I think people would make when it comes to real estate videos or pictures is that they try and shoot their own stuff uh, and they're not professionals. As a realtor, I ask people to hire a professional all the time. And so I would expect myself to do the same thing when I'm representing a service to clients. So number one, hire a professional. Number two, have a plan on what you're going to say. Don't just show up to the video shoot and not have an idea for the flow of the video and how you'd like it to go. Before each one of my videos, I have an exact plan of what I'm going to say when I'm on camera, just like this. Hey everybody, it's Jordan from the Rossman team. And welcome to our newest listing. In today's video, I'm going to give you three reasons why you're going to love this home. And number three is to have a plan for your footage. Now, not just a plan for what you're going to say on your footage, but what are you gonna do with your footage when you actually get it back from your videographer? Now at the Rossman team, we've got a plan where we advertise pretty heavily on Facebook and Instagram, but even deeper than that, what are you going to do with your footage when you get it back? Are you just going to post those pictures and are you just going to post those videos? Or are you going to save your videos, clip them into other little clips, maybe 30 second clips, 15 second clips for Instagram stories, try and crop them vertically. What are you gonna do with your footage when you get that back? So when I shoot a video, when we shoot a real estate video, like we are at this house, we're taking advantage of our time. And we're also taking advantage of the fact that we've got a house for a few hours and shooting a vlog just like this. So maximizing your opportunities from the footage you're already paying for, from the time that you actually have at a house or on location if you're not in real estate, um, but really having a plan in advance for what you're going to do with that footage.
Okay, so that wraps up my first ever vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that video with me taking you on a little bit of a journey of what it looks like behind the scenes to shoot a video at a client's home. So if you guys enjoyed it, please uh, comment below and let me know and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hopefully I will be doing more and more of these videos in the weeks to come. Thanks guys.